we have some good news and some bad news. Good news is we have a lot of iron. I did a, a teeny tiny bit of AFKing uh, here, <laughs> as you can see, but uh, I don't think we're going to have any issues when it comes to having iron now, which is brilliant. But the bad news... <laughs> so, uh, in my last video, Ellie commented, Hey, I I'm gonna dub the, the mending guy Frank. Oh, I, I left my shaders on. Oopsies. Well, we get to look at the house with shaders on. But, um... I... Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. I forgot to cover up Frank and his friend. I, I left them in boats together. Like, literally the two of them were sat in a boat together. But I, uh, I think a skeleton got to them. Because, uh, when I went out to check on them, to breed more villagers, they were gone. Frank. Frank and his buddy are gone. They're, they're just gone. I'm so sad. I was like, no! Oh, my breeding villagers! Now I need to wait for more zombie villagers to come. Because otherwise, like, I literally just... I, I can't breed more villagers, or I have to somehow get the villagers out of the hole down there, which that's impossible. Oh, this looks so cool with shaders on. Yes! Oh, look at my- ah, look at the little beetle! Oh, that looks cute! Hold on. Yo! Oh, okay. That's cute. I like that. Let me turn these shaders off though. But other than that, uh, other than losing my main villagers, including Frank, everything here is doing wonderfully. We have so many iron. This thing is working brilliantly. I did have to fix it because it did break. Uh, because the villagers, like with the zombies not sitting in the boats, the villagers never got a chance to not be looking at the zombie. Because, like, they get scared when they're in the eye line of the zombie, and that's what spawns a golem down. But if they don't stop being scared, another vol a volume, another golem won't fall. So I had to get the zombie into the, into the boat. So I had to go down into the hole and then, like, place a bucket of water down so that the boat would move and then the zombie would sit in it. But then also... A village, two villagers in this one hole kept sitting in the in in the boats and dying. <laughs> they would just get in the boat with the zombie and die, which is so dumb. And so I had to I had to put two new villagers down here, which luckily up there before Frank and stuff despawned, I was able to get two new villagers. I got a, a, an adult and a baby out here. I didn't think before dropping the baby down, the baby died immediately. <laughs> the baby ran onto the slab and, and got in the boat, boat with the zombie and died. So then I had to go down into this pit and I had to, to block off the, all sight from the zombie and all ways that the baby could get in there because the baby was able to go onto the slab and, and get in there with him. But, like, I had to block all of that off, and then breed these two- the two villagers that were down there. And then wait 20 minutes for the baby to grow up. Oh my god, it was hell. But after that happened, and both zombies are now in boats. Also, one of my zombies died as well. And I was like, bro, okay, whatever. Uh, but after I fixed that, we've had no issues, and this thing is working wonderfully. Which I'm very happy about. <laughs> but yeah, of course, of course we had a bunch of issues. It, 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 like, it kind of, like, it went too well, you know? But look at all this iron, and we got a bunch of bobbies. Amazing. But yeah. So we, we now have infinite iron, which is cool. And I guess I'll wait for more zombie villagers to to hang around. I, I need to put them up there. I have to put them up there because that's where my village is going to be. 
So, today's episode is legitimately going to be waiting for for some more zombie villagers, brewing some more potions, and then making an actual villager breeder where my villagers are just, they're not gonna despawn. I'm gonna breed the zombie villager lads and f to make two babies, and then I'm gonna save those two babies to be in the breeder, that way my trading guys are not immediately like, I don't know, accidentally kill them while making the breeder. Or just forget that they're in the breeder and, <laughs> and just leave them there. Oh god. Yeah, I also have to fill in this hole now. But I've I've used all my dirt elsewhere. So I'm like, oh no. I also need to fix up the terrain a bit, but uh... Oh, you ink this! So yeah, today's episode is get two more villagers Get them up here and make a villager breeder. I gave up on <laughs> trying to wait for a, another zombie villager. So instead, I went down here into the, the pit with these guys. Uh, and I, I, I made them breed. I gave them lots of bread and they gave me these two beautiful little babies who I'm going to wait 20 minutes for them to grow up. <laughs> that is my goal right now. Uh, and then I'm going to rail them all the way up to the top. <sighs> Painful. But we'll get them there. Well, actually, I won't even need to put them on rails all the way up. I can, I can just use beds because, uh, a good tip for those who want to move villagers, just wait until night time and use beds. They they literally they, they will do anything to get in that bed and so and they'll stay on the bed once they're in it. They won't go wandering off unlike with the workbenches. Though I guess if you want to do it during the day then workbenches are, are your best bet. The villagers have been moved! I keep forgetting to put my microphone at my mouth. They're moved! The villagers! Let's go! Okay, they've grown up. And now, I just need to get them up here. Actually, I'll do that now. I'll show you guys how I got them up here in the first place. Uh, actually, I put these up here already. Because they, uh, they love chasing after those, uh, those little workbenches. Look at him go! They're like, oh! A job! Cool! And then I just scoot them along until they're where I want them to be. And I put a put a little boat down, and they're like, oh! Oh damn! Cool! That's sick! Yeah! And then they like being with each other, and it's adorable! Yeah! Yeah, working with villagers when they want to cooperate is very nice. <laughs> it's very easy, but then when they don't want to cooperate, that's when it's hell. Like, as soon as a zombie gets involved or one of them gets punched, that's it. They're, they're pure chaos. They're going to run in three different directions. Oh my god. Ah! Me too. Yes, send that. <laughs> yes. Hi, little guys! Oh, we're gonna get you guys in a little breeder. Dude. Ow. Go away! Leave my home. My goodness.
Where are you going? Where are you going? There's no bed down here. Where are you going? little guy oh my gosh we did it we got a villager breeder and we have a baby okay <laughs> the boys are safe we did it we did it we got them we got some guys oh I'm proud of myself look at that villager breeder now I just need a bunch more wheat so that I can give them more bread. I have finished the breeder. Look at how many little guys we've got. We got so many. Oh my gosh. And they're making more up there. There's two of them up there. They're nice and cozy. Uh, and I've also expanded my farm a little bit. I'm going to expand it down. Oh, no. Little man. Oh, no. I didn't see him. No. He was a little librarian, man. I could have. Oh. oh, I didn't know you were there. Oh, bless him. Oh, well. I'll rip that guy. But uh, yeah, I'm going to expand the farm downwards once I get carrots and potatoes because I don't have any. But I made the farm bigger because I needed a lot more wheat to give these guys more bread. And now we've got that sorted. We, we now have a lot of little villager guys. Which is very cool. You shouldn't. It's because of them. What do you want? <laughs> My god. Well. We now have this big old pile of villagers, which means we can start doing the building around this place so I can I can fit villagers in and, and get them nice and cozy in their little homes. Oh my gosh, can you believe that? I can't. Uh, basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the builds, like uh, I'm gonna have a, a blacksmith here, and then a little, uh, like, loom leather worker place here, gonna have a farm here, and then a library slash, uh, magic house <laughs> here, and then down here is gonna be the main village. This is where the actual houses are gonna be where they can they can roam around and stuff but i'm going to have basements to each of the different buildings and have villager halls in there with all of my set trade dudes like the efficiency unbreaking mending all of that have those guys specifically in the basement and in little slots and then on the above ground, I'm going to have more villagers that are just free roaming and, and walking around and experiencing the world. Because they will stick in this area. They're not going to head down the cliff face because they don't have a reason to. They'll have beds uh, in the houses and things. So they'll be happy to stay up here and not go wandering down. Uh, a few of them might end up walking into the nether. Oh god, I got myself in a hole. Uh, but you know what? Survival of the fittest. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> if some villagers want to go and uh, die in the nether, that's up to them. That's their prerogative. That's not. I, I, look, they're not my my tradie boys. They can they can go die, I guess. But yeah, so I'm waiting for the babies to grow up and stuff, and then I'm gonna. Uh, sort out a system in here using minecarts and stuff to be able to move them off. But I won't be doing that until we've got the buildings in place. So I'm gonna start working on the buildings, basically. Next episode is going to be all about building on this area. Building up the, the little castle that's gonna be here. Building up 
the blacksmith and the leather worker and the farm and library and all of that good stuff. This has been a, a rather small, not much content episode, but next episode is going to have a lot of building and I'm going to <laughs> force myself to learn the replay mod as well, which is going to be fun. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this episode and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!